they're exploiting a flaw in the human brain. They're basically, they're, they're brain hackers. It's a boomer take that I don't want you to get addicted to gambling. Sometimes people will say like, oh, we should make everything bad for us illegal then. I'm like, well, yeah, like a lot of it, I think. I'm not saying we should make it illegal, but would it make society a better place? Probably. Now the question, and I struggle with this sometimes, is the point of life to make society a better place? Because sometimes people are like, you know, oh, you got to like do this, you got to do that. Think of what your ancestors like sacrificed to get you here. And I'm like, well, okay, I, then I'm cashing in. I'm cashing in the chips that they put into the pot. Why should I have to put the same number of chips in that my grandparents put in? They put them in so I wouldn't have to put in so many chips, but now I'm supposed to put, put in the same number of chips so that the next person can collect on them? Well, yeah, I have a kid. But don't worry, her, her chips are taken care of. I just like sometimes I, people talk about like, um, you know, like, oh, you, like, you got to work so hard to like push society forward and stuff like that. And I'm like, why? Everyone's just going to, human beings were the same, you know? Oh, what are you going to use a better smartphone to jerk off and waste time? <laughs> thanks, thanks for spending your whole life at the lithium factory, Grandpa. Now my smartphone is an inch and a half bigger and it has a 4K screen that I normalized to in like five seconds and immediately was like, oh, I need a new phone. At some point, don't we have to have like a society where we say, hey, thanks to our ancestors for like creating like a, a world that in some ways can be comfortable at least. Now we're just going to coast for like a generation or two. Now we're just going to enjoy it. Why we always got to be like pushing stuff forward? Medicine, sure. Med I Hello. Medicine, I, I, I like that we're pushing that forward. But like, um, and the blockchain, I think that's doing some good stuff. Do you see that they're giving, that Starbucks now is going to have a Web3 enabled loyalty app. Time to, time to return to Starbucks for the first time in a while. But I'm like, honestly, I think we should have like a generation where people just sort of like chill a little bit. Like maybe granddad did fight on Juno Beach. So that I could just fucking chill out. I don't think they were over there, you know, in Dieppe. And they were like, yeah, oh, I fucking hate war. This fucking sucks. Like, we're all going to die. And even if we don't, it's torture. Um, but on the bright side, at least our grandkids will always look back on this moment and be like, well, that's why we have to suffer too. Bad take? No. I think your take that this is a bad take is a bad take. Minus two? You know what? I'm minus two, you're minus two. I, I'm minus two and you're minus two. I think we should have like a generation that's just like... Just like making and watching movies and TV. I think that's the... That's the sauce. And if we get like passed by another country, honestly, more power to you. Isn't that, it's like, honestly, like America, you've done a lot. Can you just retire? Maybe it's time to enjoy the fruits of your labors and, you know, just get a boat or something like that and chill out. You know, like move out of the economy a little bit so that some other hungry countries can get a chance to maybe like usurp you if Canada gets passed. I mean, we're already, Canada's kind of sick. We're not in the G7, but we're in the G7. You know what I mean? Like, we are not one of the top seven economies on Earth, but they just invite us anyway. It's something every country should aspire to be. Easy to invite to things. They do need to bring in a little bit more blockchain support, though. I don't know about their positions on the blockchain. Blockchain kind of mid? You know what? I'll plus two that. I don't really know what it is. <laughs> to be honest. I don't really know what it is. I just like saying it because it elicits strong reactions. Try keeping your cool and shooting a sniper bullet in this situation, brother. Oh, really? Well, if I got if I'm minus two, then that guy's minus four. Okay? Could I? Could a man with such bad takes be this good at gaming? I don't think so. No, gamers have notoriously good takes. I don't understand how people in the NFL can just like miss kicks. Would love your thoughts on this. Anyway, I'm just saying just like chill a little bit. 
That's all I'm saying. Give the rest of the world a chance, man. Don't make fun of me for styling on kids in whatever this game's called, Zoms. I already beat all the 45-year-olds in Rumbleverse, okay? I'm not 45. Joe, Joe, I'm sorry. I was talking about the giant bomb premium subscribers like me, okay? 